Hello everybody, I'm HPL from HPL TV and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be making a video on this reality show. It's old, I think it's from the early 2000s. It's called Parental Control. And wow, this show is <laughs> bonkers. Bonkers, I think that might be the whitest thing I've ever said. But yeah, and by the way, this is 100% scripted. There's no way it can't be. There are parts in the show where they show a supposed live stream of like what's going on in separate parts of the show. But the thing is, it's 2019 and the FaceTime isn't even that good. This is from like 10 years ago. I I'm sorry, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just very excited. So basically, the concept of the show is the parents don't like their daughter's boyfriend. So they have him come over and then they have some other guys that they want their daughter to date come over and then those guys take the daughter out on a date and dude just gets totally cucked i've already seen some of this and i love it i love it hi i'm tony and i'm in advertising and i'm marcy tony's partner and a stay-at-home mom our daughter candace is absolute perfection she's smart she's beautiful and she has a great future ahead of her there's just one thing standing in her way. Yeah. So this is the first sign that it's fake. The first two signs, actually. One, these guys are supposed to be teenagers. This guy looks 30. It's like, stop using older people to play teenage boys. I'm 15, okay? This is, like, realistically what we look like. Stop making me look bad. Also, how'd they get him to do all those poses for the camera? So we just need you to do all these, like, douchebag poses to show how much of an asshole you are. Okay, dude. Yeah, I'm a bad influence on your daughter. What's up? Her boyfriend is a giant idiot. This is Candace. She's dating Mitch. They've been together for one year and- Why are you guys making out in the middle of the street? Didn't she say her daughter was smart? She's smart. Are you sure about that? No, your daughter's dumb as shit. That's the quickest way to get hit by a car. Don't do shit in the street. Stay in your house. Hey, what's up? I'm Candace. My boyfriend's name is Mitch. He's fun, sweet, and he's way cute. Yeah, he's so cute and cool that I'm agreeing to not only cheat on him with one person, but to cheat on him with two people. These are the original clout chasers. For starters, Mitch is such a fake punk. He's such a poser with his ripped jeans and his buzzed hair. He wears shirts that say rock sucks. A real punk rocker would kick his ass. What a weird criticism. Like, that's something another teenager would say. Like, oh, he's such a fake punk, he thinks he's cool. Aren't parents concerned about, like, whether their daughter's boyfriend is doing drugs or doing other dumb shit? But no, this is, this is the main concern. He's a fake punk. You can shoot up heroin and date my daughter, but if you're a fake punk, get out of here. And Mitch is a total weakling. He has no muscle. I know you're not talking about other people's bodies. You guys sitting on that couch looks like two pairs stuck together. Don't even get me started. And get this. Mitch thinks it's perfectly okay to pick his nose anytime he feels like it. Ew! I mean, maybe these are like bad habits, but, but if this is your biggest issue with him, it doesn't seem so bad. I mean, obviously he's a douchebag, we've established that just by the b-roll. If he digs any deeper, he's gonna hit brain! What brain? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that playful humor they have on this show. Now it's time for Mom and Marcy to meet the potential blind dates for Candace. So this is the audition process. I'm sure we'll see a, a few characters here. Hey! Hi. Hi, I'm Hutch. Can to meet you, Frank. Curtis. I'm Corey. How are you? I'm doing real good. Wait, are you guys lesbians? Yes. You have a problem with that? I don't like people who are like this, okay? Like, you ask a question, and they answer it, and then they follow it up with, you got a problem with that? I hate people who are so confrontational like that. Like, nah, I'm just wondering. I mean, maybe it was a stupid question to ask because it's pretty obvious, but still, like, what makes you think I have an issue with it? What do you do for a living? I'm a student. Apprentice Carpenter. I coach gymnastics. I'm a Jumbotron operator. Interesting. I am a server. I'm a student athlete and I also scoop ice cream. I work at a retail clothing store. Famous dancer. What kind of dance do you do? Pick him, pick him, please pick him. Please tell me they pick him. Our daughter's boyfriend is a total wimp. Show us your most impressive muscle. My bicep. Got eight of them. Right up here, my brain. That's lame. Le Boo! 
Cornball. I'm not in good shape, but people say, oh, my brain makes up for my lack of brawn. That, no. If you were that smart, you'd know the benefits of working out. That's why I'm an idiot. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a girl? Um, um, uh, we had a pretty nice dinner over at the beach, and, uh, I actually cooked for her. Nice. Bought a girl a gold necklace, but it wasn't real gold. It was actually just gold colored. I bailed this one girl out of jail. That was romantic. Ladies, get you a man that'll bail you out of jail. Is that the best you can come up with? Yeah, you have to love someone a lot to bail them out of jail. It's not free. We hate that our daughter's boyfriend picks his nose in public. What's the worst thing you've ever done in public? I mean, if you ask any guy what's the worst thing, any person, what's the worst thing you've done in public, the answer they're gonna give you is a lot worse than just picking my nose. I mean, like when I was little, I peed in public. And by little, I mean a few weeks ago, but still. Sometimes I've actually peed in public. See, he knows what's up. The worst thing is... Yeah! Come on, you guys gotta pick, you gotta. That's the most physical activity you will ever see me do in a video. Why should we pick you to date our daughter? Because if uh, you don't pick me, then I'm gonna find you where you live and aid your house. That, that's a pretty good reason to pick him. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thanks. Bye. Okay, who are we gonna pick? I don't know. Let's, Let's get started. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Okay, okay. I like him. Yeah. Okay, that sounds okay. good. Okay. okay. My turn. Wait, this one. You think Candace is gonna okay. like it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay good. They spent the grand total of like 20 seconds on that, so you know they care. Alright, that's gonna be all for this video. If you want me to do a part two where I continue the episode and we see what happens on the actual dates themselves, uh, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Make it make sense, make it make sense, I can't hide a heart in the black tent, I you were off the bullshit